Okay, so this is gonna be a simple one. This is all mental math. So you gotta use that thing that's underneath this nice cap here. Um, we just wanna see, practice real quick as far as mental math, how do I get that B? Remember when you're doing FOIL or the box method, your first term and your last term will be the same for all these trinomials. The only thing you're working on is how do I get that B, the middle, the second term, as far as the combination of the outer and inner if you're using the FOIL method. So 5x times x gives me 5x squared. So this is the same for all the choices here. And then the last um, terms, ne positive 6, negative 4, negative 7, that gives me a combination of negative 42. So that's okay. So the only thing we're focusing on is being able to mentally say, oh, how about the outer? 5x times negative 7, that gives me negative 35x. And then 6 times x gives me positive 6x. So the combination of those, which one is it? As you can see on the computer, it's not going to be in green. It's going to be all black. But I just want to point out as far as what are we focusing on on this particular assignment. So the combination, some of us are going to have to write it out. Some of us are going to have to do it mentally. Me personally, I've got to write it out. I'm not as smart as you guys. 5x times, that gives me negative 35x. And then 6 times x gives me plus 6x. So I'm thinking of the combination of these two. This is negative, which is a lot bigger. 35 is bigger than 6, the absolute values, that is. So my answer should be negative. So my answer should be negative. So I know that these two are going, not going to be an answer. So automatically, I'm crossing those two out. So my answer has to be negative, first of all. So the combination of these two, well, they're not the same. So therefore, i got to find the difference between them. They're different signs, so i got to find the difference between them. And that gives me a combination of negative 29. So real quick, 6 plus 29 gives me 35. So I must be right, so this is my answer. 31, there's no way I can add 6 plus 31. That would give me 37, and that's not what I'm looking for. Okay, so again, all mental math. Some of us might have to write out a little bit, but not so much. Because <clears throat> first... We don't care because that's going to be the same for all of my choices. Last, we don't care because that's going to be the same for all of my choices. So we're not having you do the whole foil all over again, all the box all over again. The idea is to see the outer and the inner. So again here, 5x times negative 8, that gives me negative 32x. And then 9 times x gives me plus 9x. So I'm looking at the combination here again. The negative here, 32 the absolute value, 32 is bigger than 9, so therefore my answer should be negative. So again, not a good answer, and not a good answer. It has to be C or B. Now I'm going to ask myself, the combination of these two, what could be my answer? So 23 plus 9, that gives me 32. 25 plus 9, that gives me 34. So my answer has to be negative 23. So this is my answer, and this would not be my answer. Okay, so again... So I'm in 90, what is it again? Six. 96, all mental math, okay? Use that thing underneath this nice cap, all right?